Up next, we have some weekly announcements, a story over Cersei High's very own East program, a special look into a local up-and-coming business, a peek into this week's weather, and me, Owen Summerland, with all your latest sports updates. All that and more, Line TV starts... Smith. And I'm Smith and I got my dad. Glad to be here with y'all this morning. We know you all are anxious to be out for spring break and good news, you only have three days left. Good news is our specialty as well as news over local happenings, weather and sports. All that is coming up soon but first here are some announcements. Congratulations to Bethany Ellis for gaining Microsoft Master Certification this week. Bethany will also represent Arkansas at the National Microsoft Office Specialist Competition in Atlanta June 13th through 15th competing in Microsoft World 2016. Tryouts for the 2018 SHS Lion and Lady Lion Golf teams will be May 14th through 15th at Searcy Country Club. Any student wishing to try out must sign up in Coach Turney's room 117. Have a physical and return the information sheet. There will be a mandatory meeting in Coach Turney's room on May 10th at 315 for all students wishing to try out. Free physicals at school are scheduled for April 6th. Physical forms and, a, and information sheets will be picked up in Coach Turney's room. The Youth Advisory Council wants all of you to suit up for the Rescue Run 5K on Saturday, March 17th. This superhero-themed walk and run is to benefit local nonprofits that are working to fight bullying and depression among kids and youth. You can register to get your t-shirt and other race day materials or find more information at the website below. Basketball tryouts for boys who do not play a spring sport will be tomorrow, March 15th, after school in the high school gym. You must have a current physical to try out. The first SHS Prom Closet Shopping Day will be held on the third floor of the SHS Performing Arts Center on Wednesday, March 21st from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Any students attending the SHS Prom is welcome to check out the for more inventory. A second shopping day will be held Wednesday, March 14th. Any 11th grade students interested in applying for a clinical internship their senior year can pick up applications in the Guidance Center. Completed applications are due in the Guidance Center by Friday, March 16th. Now let's send things over to Emily with a look at a new business in town for providing a very uniquely elastic experience. Numa is a new yoga studio in downtown Searcy that offers a lot to our small town. From hot yoga to aerial classes, Numa has it all. Katie and Nicole are not only best friends, but business partners. We love working out and we love working out together. So we just started visiting every type of studio, doing every type of form of exercise. We started getting trained, learning about it, got a good foundation. And so that's how Numa really started. <laughs> NUMA offers several types of classes at all hours of the day. We have 40 classes each week, and so we have classes that start at 5 a.m. Those classes book out. Um, we have 8 and 9 o'clock classes. We go back to back on a couple days a week, and then we do evening classes, afternoon classes, and we do nighttime classes. And a new class we have coming up is a dance party class on Fridays. The name NUMA holds a special place in their hearts. So Newman means breath, and we are a mind-body experience studio. So in each of our classes, you'll never hear us talk about, we're going to do this to make this look better. It's all about connecting you back to yourself and reconnecting with who you are. So we believe in the workouts that we do. We do them in the best manner. We use infrared heat. We provide the best mats, the best equipment. Uh, we do it with a great community of women that like to work hard, like results, and like to just be able to relax and gain breath and reconnect with each other and back to themselves. NUMA promotes health and wellness for the mind, soul, and body. The first week of classes is free for new clients, so go check it out. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Emily. I've heard a lot about NUMA Studio here in town, and it's harder to get a better look at what it's about except for buying a membership myself. Now I'm definitely ready to try it out. Same here. 
Up next, we have your weather girl, Lillian Lotus, to give you a midweek weather forecast. Good morning, Star High School. Today is March 14th, 2018. Let's look at today's weather. Um, you have sunny skies with rain at 0%, your high is 62, winds going west at 8 miles per hour, and your sun rose this morning at 7.18 a.m. Now let's look at tonight. Tonight we'll have clear skies with a low of 38, rain at 0%, winds going southwest at 6 miles per hour, humidity is at 60%, and your sunset will be at 7.13 p.m. Now let's look at the almanac. Your almanac average temperatures, your high is 62, with a low of 39, we have a 4.28 inches of precipitation. And your month to date was 1.41 inches. Now let's look at your five cast. Thursday, we'll have sunny skies with a high of 71 and a low of 49 with 0% chance of rain. Friday, we'll have thunderstorms with a high of 66 and a low of 50 with 80% chance of rain. Saturday, we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 69 and a low of 45 with 40% chance of rain. Sunday, we'll have a We'll have showers with a high of 65 and a low of 47 with 50% chance of rain. And Monday, we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 72 and a low of 42 with 80% chance of rain. So it looks like we're going to have a lot of rain this week. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Me either. Me I either. never am. Mm -mm. Let's check out lunch. Today for lunch, we'll be having cheese pizza, chicken nachos, cheese dip, Mexican rice, green salad, glazed carrots, fruit cocktail, salad dressing variety, M&M cookies, red delicious apples, and milk. Don't forget to thank the cafeteria workers today for preparing such a delicious meal for our school. Definitely. Big thanks to them. Up next, we have a feature from one of our intro reporters, Jay Paul, right after a quick commercial break. All right, first question. Is Lion TV going to be doing another episode of the studio? You know you're the first person to ask me that, right? Oh, really? No. You're not the first person to ask me that. So, we're definitely doing another episode of the studio. It was so much fun to write, and it was even more fun to film it with the class. But it just takes a really long time to make. Well, let's not make this about me. Oh, gosh. Oh, you had to deal with trigger, not trigger, sorry. Uh, if you can't tell already, oh my. I'm so glad I gave you guys those cards. Handouts. Well, it actually uh, serenaded, not serenaded, shoot. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> if you can't tell, obviously, no. Then I'm in the studio with food. You know that's against the rules. <laughs> that I gave you guys those, those, I handed out those cards. I messed up! What did you mean by hand out cards? Uh, I, uh. I know you're wearing socks over your jeans. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't tell already, I'm an obvious. How do I do that? Okay. I'm at school uh, and um, on since you know what she got, uh, sir, don't touch my camera. Okay. Sir, don't touch my camera. A really, really long time. If you're thinking about helping your community, then you should stop by the East Lab. We got an inside look into East to see what they're working on. This is my third year teaching East. I started working with East last year, my freshman year. I like that all of the students can work on something that's interesting to them and that they're all working on projects that are going to solve some kind of problem or help someone else. During the beginning of the school year, it's hard for a lot of students to find their way around the school. But one student's project has found a way to overcome that. So I'm working on a 3D school tour which will help new kids at the school find a way, oh, find a way around the school and all that. And I'm also working on photography on East U so I can learn how to take pictures around the school like of the things we have to do for the project. There are a ton of projects in East right now, but one has impacted the school the most. We're going to take the, um, the landlocked area between the buildings that the build, when the buildings were constructed, we ended up with a, a piece of land that you can't access except through the buildings. And I've got a group of students who are working to turn that into something functional instead of just a giant weed patch. East is more than just about the school. It's about the community as well, and there's one project that has really impacted it. 
The biggest project that we have going on is our Miracle League project and I've got a group of students that are working to bring um, Miracle League baseball to Searcy and that project has actually moved past the classroom and is out in the community. There's a community board that is actually working to bring that project to life. East is a unique program that continues to grow bigger and brighter into the future. Back to the anchors. Thanks Jay Paul. I've heard a lot of great things about the East program and I'm glad to have seen what they do. There's definitely a lot of great talent in there. Thanks again Jay Paul and good luck to our East Conference participants this week. Up next we'll have Owen Summerlin to tell you what's happening out on the courts and fields of the world of sports. Good morning Searcy High School. Let's get into the sports world of Searcy High. Last night, the baseball and softball teams played Bay Bay. Your Searcy Lions soccer teams played Moralton at Moralton. Yet, we do not have the outcomes of these games. We did get with Keegan Johnson to get his thoughts on the season. As a captain, uh, well, I hope that I'm making a positive influence, just staying positive during practice and doing the games and having a good mindset and pushing others to have a good mindset. And I feel like if you aren't working together as a team and you're not thinking as a team, that you're not playing as a team. In the games ahead, I'm wanting to make this um, the best season that I've ever had, the best season that this team has had since I've been here. Um, but I'm taking it one step at a time. In national sports, March upsetness begins this Thursday with these games. First seed Kansas versus Penn, 2 seed Duke versus Iowa, 3 seed Michigan versus Montana, and 5 seed Kentucky versus Davidson on Friday. The games will be overall 1 seed Virginia versus UMBC, 2 seed North Carolina versus Liscomb, 5 seed West Virginia versus Murray State, and 7 seed Arkansas versus Butler. Well, that's all I have for you today, Cersei. Let's send things back to the news desk. Thanks, Owen. I'm always excited to hear how our Cersei Lions and Lady Lions are performing. Best of luck to all of our SHS athletes. And the same for me. With that, we'll wrap up our morning news coverage, Cersei. Don't forget you can watch any episode of Lion TV, Channel 423, this, or the studio online. Just go to www.searcylionpress.com and click on the Lion TV logo to go to our webpage. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter with at Lion TV and on Instagram and Facebook with at Searcy Lion TV. Signing off, I'm Samantha Mydell. And I'm Lauren Smith. Have a great day, Cersei, and we'll be back here on Friday to wrap up your week.